Hey, welcome to part 2 of the whale tutorial. In the previous video, we ended with round 9. In round 10, we first do 12 single crochet. And then we do an increase, and we do that again, so 12 single crochet followed by an increase. And then we finish off the round with 12 single crochet. This brings a total of round 10 to 40 stitches. In round 11, we start with 13 single crochet. And then an increase, and then 12 single crochet. And an increase, and we finish off the round with 13 single crochet. This brings round 11 up to 42 stitches. At this point the piece should look like this. Now we're going to do 7 rounds of 42 single crochet around. So that's rounds 12 to 18. And I'll do these 7 rounds off camera. After round 18 it should look like this. In round 19 we're going to start decreasing. So we start with 5 single crochet. And then we do an invisible decrease. And we do all of that 6 times in total to bring us down to 36 stitches. In round 20 we do 4 single crochet and then a decrease and we do all of that 6 times to bring us down to 30 stitches. In round 21 we do 3 single crochet and then a decrease. We do that 6 times to get 24. At this point we can stuff the back of the whale. In round 22 it's 2 single crochet and a decrease. 
We do that six times to bring us down to 18. Now we're going to attach the eyes and I like to attach them between round 18 and 19 and about 12 stitches apart. So we've just done round 22 so counting back from there between round 18 and 19. And the eyes will be at the underside which is the flatter side of the whale. So I'm just starting at the side and counting over 12 stitches and then seeing if it's symmetrical and adjusting if necessary. Just check it from all angles. Once you're happy with the placement you can attach the backs. In round 23 we do a single crochet and then a decrease and we do all of that six times to bring us down to 12 stitches. And now we can finish stuffing the whale. As you can see you can fit a fair amount of stuffing in. In round 24 we do 6 decreases in a row. This brings us down from 12 stitches to 6. Then we can cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail to sew that hole closed. To close the hole I like to go through the front loops of the last 6 stitches from the center. Then pull on the tail which closes the hole and bring that tail through to a few places on the body to secure it. Just shape the body as necessary and now the main body and tail are done. The fins will be attached here. Now we're going to crochet the fins and you'll need to make two of these. In round one it's four single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2 we do 2 single crochet into each stitch. This means we're doing 4 increases which brings us up to 8 stitches. Just keep turning the piece back as you're working. 
Now we're going to do three rounds of eight single crochet. So that's rounds three to five. After round 5 we can remove the stitch marker. The magic rings I do are very secure so I'll just be tucking in this tail. If you're working with a very slippery yarn you might need to weave the ends in. Now we're going to fold the piece flat and do single crochets along the top to close it. Then we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a tail for sewing onto the body. And you'll need to make two of these fins. So I like to place the fins about three stitches behind the eyes. So that's about here. I like having that last row of single crochets facing towards the front, but that's a matter of preference. First grab a stitch on the body, go up into a stitch on the fin, and down into the next stitch on the fin. And do this all the way across the fin. Once I reach the other side, I like to grab that end stitch again, go into the body, and then grab the first stitch again. Then bring the tail through to the underside. And we'll do the second fin exactly the same way. To make it symmetrical, I'll be working from the back of the fin towards the front this time. This is so that that last row of single crochets still faces towards the front. Then bring that yarn tail through to meet the first one. And tie these together. If you like, you can weave these ends in further. And there is the whale completed. I will be designing a horn to go on the whale to turn him into a narwhal. And that should be released in a few days. Thanks so much for watching this whale tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell.